Um, there really, really, really is no one to blame but direct parenting and, or lack thereof for this behavior that is going on with our young people. Now, that you might try to, you know, um, you know, escape it. You may try to um, minimize the situation and say we being picked on. Um, but the reality of the situation is We have to admit that there is a serious problem with some um, of our young people now. There is no way around it. There is no way under it. There's no way over it. You just got to go directly through this. Miami Beach imposed, you know, a midnight curfew ahead of the, you know, uh, spring break. And the reason why they did that is because of uh, after two shootings, it left five people wounded. Which makes no sense. And my question is, why are the young black kids? No, I'm not, no that's not a question for me because I already know the answer. Do you see how violent we are? Do you see how the hatred and the pain and the madness... And the disappointment has passed on to our children and grandchildren. Can you see this spirit of hatefulness? This spirit of rebellion? This spirit of hate against a self and anything that looked like them? Um... Who is going to blame the people of Miami when they say, we don't want spring break here? It's really, they really don't want y'all black asses down there because y'all ignorant and you don't know how to act. You done lost y'all damn minds. You can't go anywhere without y'all fighting and shooting and hurting one another. Hitting each other. Listen, somebody put a show of what happened. Well, I've seen several of them now. Beautiful clubs in Atlanta. Beautiful clubs in Miami. Some of them, oh, you don't even want to talk about the gay clubs. Where all we do is fight. The anger it's so, it is so manifest in our behavior that I don't even know how, um, you know, I don't know how to resolve this. It's just like when you have um, bad breeding. There is nothing in the world that would make me want to go to a spot where I'm supposed to be having fun and start having fights. And be rowdy and think that's fun. There are some people who go out to the club just to fight. And that's all part of our trauma. Being addicted to drama. Being addicted to fighting. Yelling. And, you know, and sometimes if you don't hear nobody arguing, you have to start the argument. Because little is it known, they done hooked us on that treatment. 
I'm not exonerating for, uh, the elite group and the social engineers from this at all. I'm just saying where we at with it and what are we going to do about it? Because what's happening is half of our society, our kids, our generation, these are, they like avid. They like animals. They like savages. When you see them coming, you don't want to get out the car. You know they packing pistols. It makes that song, <laughs> Gil Scott. Uh, everybody's got a pistol. Everybody's got a forty-five. And then the philosophy seems to be as many as I can see. When the other folks give up theirs, I'll give up mine. This is a violent civilization. Dun, 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 dun. If civilization is where I am, dun, 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 dun. oh, listen. Just Saturday night just ain't that special. Yeah, they got the Constitution on the run. Listen, y'all. These children, and I'm calling them children, because these will be my grandkids, my great, my grand and great grandkids. Y'all done lost. Look what you we look what we're producing. These kids are destructive. They're mad. They like rabid dogs almost. We know how when you have a let a dog out and you ain't been trained, you gotta make sure he don't get out. Ain't nothing wrong with having a dog like that because somebody might try to break in your house. I get it. But you have a obligation and a serious responsibility to make sure that dog don't get off that property and off those premises because you know that dog is violent and you know that dog is vicious. And if you have a vicious dog, that's what the hell you got to do. Ain't no excuses. You can't, we can't afford to let you let your damn dog get out and bite somebody and drag them down the street. Now you got these young people. Yeah, they grown. But are they? They teenagers. They kids. Is this the best of us? I don't believe it. Because the best of us would not go down to Miami Beach and knowing that this type of shit is awaiting them. Miami Beach declared a state of emergency over concerns about spring break crowds over for the second year in a row after two shootings over the weekend. Rowdy tours have created an unacceptable atmosphere and a fear in the city. And that's what uh, Dan Gilbert said. He had a joint news conference, and I know y'all know that. Gilbert said that he couldn't allow people to come to his city only to worry about being shot. I know this might be happening all over the country as I've seen on some other national reports, but frankly, that doesn't make it anybody feel better right here because this is our city and we cannot allow it to descend into this kind of chaos and disorder. Five bystanders were hospitalized in a two random shooting over the weekend. Police said they found two women with nine threatening life injuries after they responded to reports of gunshots around 1 o'clock. Three other people were injured Sunday morning in a, sh a shooting um, on Ocean Drive near 8th Street. Now let me tell y'all something. I don't want to hear none of y'all in my comment section or somebody slipping me an email and telling me that this is how we act. This is how we normally act. Oh, any of that. I'm not trying to hear it. Because 
this is going to show you that we're not under the right leadership. We're not under the right. Listen, Minister Farrakhan called over a million black men, men, to Washington, D.C. Uh, over a million men, and you didn't have not one incident. You didn't have not no fights. You didn't have no police. As a matter of fact, the, the president left town because he was afraid. Because they said, oh, my God, if a million black people come to Washington, D.C. and meet on this Capitol, Y'all don't hear me. But that's not what happened. Because there is something in us. Innately, no, we out of order. We are so out of alignment with our true nature. And let me tell you something. I'm not exonerating the people. I'm not saying that they don't have anything to do with that. I told you they done throw our whole system off. Right? They have thrown our whole universal rhythm off. And our job as we pass through this realm, this third dimensional realm, is for us to try to get ourselves back on track. Because the devil done took over our track system. Oh, uh, y'all think I'm trying to be funny. Tell me why any other, when you talk about ak, it means eight. In any other, when you say octagon, we think it's eight sides. Ak, ak, eight. How come October is the 10th month? How come spring starts in the damn, it, it, spring should start, the new year should start at spring. That's what the native did. They knew when spring came. Spring meant you seen the new buds on the trees. Spring meant the new foals and calves and puppies and kitties was born. The spring litter. Everything is new coming to birth in the spring. <laughs> Everything that's under God's rule, under thing that's anything that's under uh, law. Not man. Man got free will. They can have a baby anytime. But the squirrels and the dogs and all them, they operate off a certain law. Okay? So, now, you tell me how come spring represents the new litters of puppies and new horses, the new foals being born, the new calves coming in. That's spring. That's like March, April. That's when they start, eight days, the little buds coming on the trees because pretty soon there will be leaves and flowers getting ready for the summer. I don't know. What the hell these people done did to our the system? Because we acting so out of balance, so out of line, so out of alignment with the universe. And that's who we're supposed to represent. This right here is sheer foolery. I wouldn't want you in my town either. I wouldn't want none of y'all black people in my home, my town, acting like this. I wouldn't want none of y'all. I wouldn't care what color y'all was. Don't bring your black ass. And if there's some white ones in there acting like that, don't come to my city with that craziness. Freak Nick, same thing. Y'all don't know how to have fun no more. Y'all, y'all sad. This is a sad ass generation. That have been groomed to be fools. You can't even go to the lakefront. We used to go to the lakefront and could stay there all night long. Okay? Lake Michigan. One at Bradford Beach. One of the most beautiful lakes that run all through the Midwest. One of the great lakes. Our, our beach. Our lake looked like the Pacific. We sit on the Bradford Beach or... Uh, or all up and down the beach. And we could even fall asleep. No police were coming to run you off. This is the kind of teenage experience I had. And now you look at these kids. Listen, they want your asses off. 
And everywhere you go, they want y'all off the premises by six o'clock. Everywhere they go, they impose the curfew because y'all too crazy and you don't know how to act. I'm going to move on from this because I know a lot of y'all ain't going to like that. Okay? They have to ban liquor. They have to do these things because it, y'all don't know how to act. Don't can't blame white people for this behavior. They don't want spring break there no more because y'all too crazy. You can't even handle it. Nobody got to have a um, um, a break. We used to have uh, breaks. The spring break ain't nothing new. Going to Miami Beach ain't nothing new. Y'all behavior is new. It's really bad, too. It's really bad. And nobody want to put up with it. Not black people and, and certainly not white people. And we got to do better because this is crazy. And this is not acceptable. This is not acceptable behavior. All right. So I know y'all going to get mad. So go ahead and tell me how you feel. And if you like what you hear, you can like, you can subscribe, and you can share. Um, and I will comment right back. See you in the next video.